Greetings. Um, I believe that um, there's evidence that uh, the Coral Gables Police Department is engaged in an effort to uh, uh, corrupt the current recall petition, uh, canvassing, gathering of signatures uh, against uh, Mayor Vince Lago. And I, I urge, I, I think personally that, uh, I know from past experience that, that uh, Chief Hudak is guilty of, cor of corrupting a Coral Gables election. Uh, and I filed a complaint against him approximately two years ago in relation to his uh, corrupting a Coral Gables election. Um, therefore, I suspect that he is behind but I, the evidence is not in yet, but he may be obstructing uh, the investigation into the most recent incident of, um, it's reported uh, in the attached article by Political Cortadito uh, explaining how the present election may be being corrupted, in my opinion, is being corrupted by the Coral Gables Police Department. Um, and uh, so, so what is the case against what? What I'm urging, uh, Commissioner Fernandez, Commissioner Castro, Commissioner, <coughs> pardon me, Menendez, to do, is to place this item on the agenda. And uh, um, I, I don't know the fine points of the law as to who is empowered to uh, fire the police chief, but. Uh, um, what I submit is that this this whole subject matter of is the present election the recall petition against Mayor Lago being corrupted uh, uh, by Chief Hudak and uh, what is the status of the internal investigation um, it could be that only the city manager can uh, uh, directly fire the police chief. Uh, and we know that um, our new city manager, Amos Rojas, uh, I, I use the expression, he's the second coming of Jesus Christ for Coral Gables democracy. Um, so, I'm not sure of the administrative law or administrative rules in relation to who can fire the city manager, but I am uh, extremely confident that, and, and I, I, am, I, am, I, I assume to be correct, I, I, I think I know it to be correct, that the city commissioners, in this case, uh, Ariel Fernandez, Melissa Castro, Kirk Menendez have the authority to put an item on the agenda. I'm asking you all to do that. And the item being, once again, is um, we have uh, two crossing petitions going on right now um, uh, in the city of Coral Gables. One is a petition to uh, get uh, to switch the voting day from um, the, the traditional standalone election in April uh, and m to uh, the general election day of November and maybe the primary in August. Uh, but it, it really is a, uh, the, the latter petition is an attempt to subvert democracy when you look at it in the, in the whole uh, circumstance of how Citizens United itself, a now proven to be corrupted decision from the U.S. Supreme Court, the result of bribery a la uh, Clarence Thomas and other Republican U.S. Supreme Court justices bribed by the Federalist Society to produce the Citizens United decision. Um, uh, the, the, the attempt to switch the election day to November is an attempt to uh, put the power back in the Citizens United developerocracy and to uh, a significant extent 
uh, continued the destruction of Coral Gables as a democracy. Um, it's, it's, we're at a critical juncture. And um, so what, what I envision happening here, um, for, first of all, let me, let me go back in time to make, to explain why I believe I know that Chief Ed Hudak, and I'm going to be copying this to him, and, you know, he can do more corrupt things, uh, but uh, he can't beat the truth. Uh, uh, the Business Improvement District uh, was running illegal elections, uh, and they came up for renewal of the self-taxing district uh, a, a couple of years ago. And um, Estrellita Sibila uh, exposed the fact that they had been taxing business condos uh, without representation, a violation of state statute 170 uh, for, for really actually decades, right? Since, since their beginning. Uh, it's, it's never been, there never was an, a, a legal bid election in terms of complying with the law. What is that law, state statute 170? Um, every, uh, when you have a self-taxing district, you have to have a majority of the taxpayers voting to tax themselves. And because the business condos, uh, were being taxed from the beginning and represent, uh, in round numbers, like half of the people being taxed, but they were being denied a vote. So it was violating the state statute. Uh, and she exposed this fact. And um, fortunately, Vince Lago, the mayor, uh, was uh, appalled by what was happening and uh, um, exposed it and, uh, and, and got the election uh, stopped because it was corrupt. And, and then I filed an ethics complaint because the city attorney, uh, Miriam Ramos, uh, was telling, was instructing the city commission that, that the corrupt election was not corrupt. And um, I met with her assistant, uh, I believe it was Stephanie Throckmorton, who admitted to me that they had no basis for claiming that this uh, corrupt election was not corrupt, that you know, and and this is uh, a, a violation of their of uh, city attorney Miriam Ramos's ethics, right? Uh, you, you can't. She was she was uh, pushing through a corrupt election, so I filed an ethics complaint against her, and uh, up to this point, I had had a good relationship with Chief Hudak. Uh, so when we saw each other in the uh, outside of City Hall, but in the area right there, call it the lobby or whatever, um, you know, how are you doing? What's up? What's new? I said, well, what's new is uh, we got a corrupt city election. And he said, listen, you need to uh, withdraw that ethics complaint that you filed against Miriam Ramos. And I said, what are you talking about? And And he... Uh, was very uh, adamant that I needed to withdraw my ethics complaint and he was in support of her corrupting the election. We have a police chief then who was on the side of uh, corrupting elections. And uh, and then as I, you know, I, I mean, I couldn't even believe what I was seeing. I gave a speech in which decisions were being made as to this corrupt election and, and when I left, he told me that he was going to try to get me banned from City Hall. Um, and uh, so I have no faith in his ethics anymore. I'm, I'm saying, and, and he's getting a copy of this, and he may be able to do all sorts of further corrupt things, but he can't beat the truth. And that's the truth. He's a, Ed Hudak is a corrupter of Coral Gable City elections. Um, so now we're back in a really almost a very 
it could be said it's an identical situation, uh, but for the circumstances being different, right? Uh, so what 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 is new then, or what is what's happening now? Well, we've got another clash between democracy and uh, and and uh, developer corruption of Coral Gables elections. Um, and uh, surprise, surprise, he's on the side of. Uh, it, it's a very moment trying to destroy Coral Gables' democracy, take the power out of the hands of the voters, and put it in the hands of developers. Um, uh, well, it's it's hard to. I, I don't know all of the facts. What we do know is that the uh, there were three police incidents. Uh, this, that are being reported in political cortadito, where in canvassers c- collecting recall, uh, you know, trying to get signatures to recall petition of Vince Lago, were harassed, as reported by, by the police, right? And um, um, so you know, it could be as little as this, it's important for me to be clear and not go overboard in what I'm saying about the current circumstance. Uh, It could be a simple thing of, of, um, in my opinion, a corrupt sergeant. Uh, But it's a very disturbing and extremely important thing to get to the bottom of. Uh, It's my understanding that uh, the city manager is trying to get to the bottom of it. I get a sense that uh, um, the police department is obstructing the city manager's investigation. I think this should be aired in public. And um, and and if it's, I, I think that the that Commissioner Fernandez and Commissioner Castro and or uh, Commissioner Menendez should 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 ask the city manager what's going on. How is your investigation going? If it comes out that. Uh, that this thing is being obstructed, uh, that that uh, that the city manager is not getting answers as to who did what in in this uh, um, interference with uh, people trying to re- uh, uh, get signatures for the recall petition, which has a deadline, right? It's, I think the deadline is like April fourteenth. Um, then. Uh, um, I think, you know, punishment uh, is appropriate. Maybe they refer it to uh, an external investigation. If, 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 if the city manager is unable to get answers, uh, and, and I have a petition going on right now where the chief, I think he has it in for me, and he's not giving me answers for two or three weeks. I have a public records request. Um, uh, that it be referred to, to the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, to the FBI. Uh, they're not going to take uh, obstruction uh, lightly. And um, because it's too important for the future of Coral Gables, the, the, what, these, these crossing petitions here uh, will determine whether we have a democracy or we don't, because the effort is to try to corrupt democracy by getting this general election thing instead of the um, standalone election that Coral Gables has always had, <coughs> as far as I know, <coughs> in my <coughs> pardon me, in my 25 years back in Coral Gables where I was born, it's always been the standalone elections in April. Um, so you you get the general feel, feeling here that what I'm I, I, I'm asking this the three city commissioners who are trying to restore democracy to Coral Gables, uh, to put this item on the agenda, find out what's going on, find out if it's being obstructed, uh, see if the city manager can refer it out. If it is being obstructed by Chief Hudak, uh, if refer it out for a criminal investigation by the FDLE, by the FBI. And, you know, I, I get, uh, and, and, you know, fr- frankly, uh, you know, I'm going to send this to Ed Hudak. I think he's corrupt, and uh, I think that uh, he's going to try and disrespect 
these superior law enforcement organizations, and he may go to jail where he belongs, as far as him, I'm concerned. Um, so, um, I have a present uh, public records request relating to uh, how many uh, criminal type incidences or assaults or this or that have gone on in the city parking garages. This isn't that hard, right? It's been pending for three weeks. It, it, I've got nothing out of it. Um, why is it taking three weeks? I think he's obstructing it because he doesn't like me. Um, and uh, there's been evidence that he has failed to respond to legitimate criminal complaints by Ariel Fernandez. Um, uh, and he campaigned openly for those who support the developerocracy during the last election. Uh, I don't know what the rules are on a police chief doing that. Um, it hasn't been, uh, he hasn't been punished for it, so maybe he has the right to do that. I, I don't know what the rules are. Uh, but it's clear where his sympathies lie, and his sympathies lie with the uh, with democracy being gutted by uh, the the corrupt Citizens United decisions. It was corrupted by bribery by the Federalist Society of the of Republican U.S. Supreme Court justices, a la Clarence Thomas. It's been in the news, and. Uh, um, so, uh, I, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, bring this video to a close. Uh, I, 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 I don't want to speak too much to the issue of what's going on now because I'm not close enough to it, but, um, I, what I do know is that, is that I, I suspect and I believe that Chief Hudak is at it again, trying to corrupt a Coral Gables election. And, and we've got to act because we're in the middle of this petition gathering signature that I think he's trying to obstruct uh, and to hurt Coral Gables democracy. Thank you.